New York is suing Sprint over taxes. We've got Spencer Ante on the set who's going to tell us all about this, and it's 300 million bucks. 300 million dollars in unpaid, uncollected yeah, taxes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good chunk of change, especially for a company like Sprint, which is having uh, you know challenges generating cash flow so, on its operations. I mean, this is a respectable company. Um, it's a big company. They have a lot of um, internal systems. What happened? This, this isn't, I mean, this isn't yeah. obvious. So the New York State Attorney General is alleging that Sprint is underpaying sales taxes on your monthly wireless cell phone bill. The crux of the issue is that the attorney general is saying that you should be taxed on your entire bill, okay? Sprint is saying you should only be taxed on calls that originate and end in the state of New York, i.e., so if you go outside of the state of New York and you make phone calls, you shouldn't be taxed by the state of New York on those phone calls. So it's called unbundling. And so in 2005, Sprint basically began unbundling the bills and charging for each individual call and breaking it out. And so that's really what the uh, argument is over. And, um, and so what does this mean if I had a cell phone plan in North Carolina and then I moved to New York? Is that part of what's at issue here? Each state has different laws about okay. their own sales taxes, so I can't, I don't want to speculate about what other states might yeah. do, but the New York state law is basically saying that you should be charged for the whole bill and there's, you know, there's going to be, uh, you know, they're, they're pointing to this uh, ruling that the State Department of Taxation made, backing up this idea that you're going to be charged for the whole bill. Um, they really only said they, they underpaid $100 million, but the law says you can get up to treble damages. So that's how they got to the $300 million figure. Well, I mean, it's funny. In these times of billions and billions of dollars, $300 million, although it's a lot of money, doesn't seem like that much. Although the government could do with it right here in New York State. So um, I understand this. To win this, New York State has to prove, according to the story by Reid al um New York State has to prove that not only that Sprint violated tax laws, but that, that it did so deliberately and with a full knowledge. That's right. quite a... Um, it's a high standard of high proof. Standard, right? Yeah, you have to show intent, basically, and knowledge. Um, they um, claim that there's internal emails, smoking guns, which show that Sprint knew it was violating the law, and they decided to proceed anyway. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting to see how that gets that comes out in court. I mean, you know, you have to think about, we're still in a, in a recession, a soft economy. States or budgets are, are hemorrhaging money. You know, you have to see this in that sort of context. You know, states are probably looking at all the different ways they can drum up some more revenue. This might be one of them. It seems like New York, the law is sort of on the state of New York side just based on my general reading of this, but, you know, who knows? And we also understand uh, from the story that Sprint's underpayment of taxes is growing by about $210,000 a week, so that's going deep, deeper into debt. Right. So, so uh, Emily, did you, yeah. have a, did you ever have a Sprint farm? You know, I've never had a Sprint farm. So, no. so you're not worried then that when, when or if Sprint has to pay this bill, they go back after all the people who had the Sprint bill? Because is that that's a, a good point. Is that's a possibility. That's a good point. They're going to go back after consumers. That's a good point. I mean, it doesn't... The state attorney general has not addressed that, that would but be, that would be one obvious thing to say it would. If Sprint does have to pay this money, then they've been undercharging their customers' sales tax. And what would that mean for Sprint's business right now? And the, the it's kind of like the last thing in the world they need right now right, exactly. is to tell their customers that we, you owe us more money for something that we you know, screwed up on. I think they're going to... If, if it does go against them, I think they're probably going to have to Bite eat the that bullet, diplomatically. Yeah. <laughs> they, they really are. Yeah. Anyway, always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Spencer, answer.